Univibe. Nice. Now, not to be confused with vibrato because they are a different sound. Uh, Univibe is one guitar effect that is another kind of Leslie style. You're going for the rotating speaker sound, which we'll also go over. Guitars call it rotary because we have pedals and we're not going to lug around an actual Leslie. Yeah. No. Simulates that kind of rotating speaker sound, but to my ears, a Univibe also has a very almost phaser quality. Okay. So again, these are where the where one effect ends and another one begins, just like kind of chorus bleeds into Univibe, chorus, flanger bleeds into chorus. I feel that Univibe sounds sound similar to a, a phaser, just with less swoosh. Mm -hmm. So less of that kind of jet plane kind of sound, but it's a lot of that same kind of, it almost adds a little bit of a grit to your tone, so think you know, uh, Hendrix, the Robin Trower yeah. kind of tones. Hendrix for sure. Um, yeah. It can add a subtle sweep to chords and a little bit of texture. In that case, it barely even sounds like it's on, but I swear it is. At, at this setting, almost it has a good texture to lead. So if you're ever wanting your lead tone to pop out of a mix, it's so subtle you won't even know it's there. Of course, at higher settings, on Jimmy's Dens. Mm -hmm. you, you, if you ramp it up as you bend, it's oh, a really yeah. cool sound. It's hard to do like this, but you get the idea if you think Stevie Ray Vaughan, Robin Trower, uh, Jimi Hendrix, I'm pretty sure all those cats have used some sort of univibe effect of some sort. And it, it, at higher settings, it does sound like a phaser or like a rotary yeah. type of tone. Um, which is very cool. Uh, can also be used to, I feel like in a pinch, if I couldn't take my phaser and this, I would take this and kind of simulate my phaser sounds with the Univibe setting. So the next, and one that's also very similar, is the actual rotary speaker sound. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to simulate the Leslie sound. Uh, it's a rotating speaker, and not to get too technical, but basically it's got like a drum and a break, and keyboard players love them. Yep. It just adds like this three-dimensional, swirly, almost overdriven texture, um, and it really can add a little bit of overdrive. A lot of Leslie rotary type uh, of effects will have a separate overdrive circuit to simulate that breakup that you get when you do actually use a real cabinet. This is a lot more portable. Okay. And this doesn't. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and doesn't I agree. Doesn't require any this kind of special. This does not weigh over 100 pounds. It doesn't weigh 100 pounds. Nope. Doesn't require a separate, also not guitar friendly amplifier mm -hmm. in order to produce the sound. Yeah. Um, and it's it's been made famous for all kinds of different things. You got. You know, classic uh, stuff from like Zach Wilde, where he would use the rotary sounds. Um, you know, Pink Floyd have used these mm -hmm. kind of tones. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just a good alternative to your standard chorus, or your standard phaser sound, uh, and a more clean tone. I'm thinking instantly like Skinner. Almost sounds like you're playing your guitar through an organ because yeah. it can add that little bit of churn. Churn is a good word for that. It's a good yeah. descriptive adjective. It's churning. Churning. Again, this is on a clean amp, so you can hear that it's adding a little bit of grit even to this neck pickup. To me, that right there, that little bit of extra wobble is that is yeah. the rotary yeah. sound of, you know. So that is your that is your rotary sound. It's gonna add that kind of gurgling, churning. Let's turn it all the way up. That chord sounds good with it. Where's it going? Um, so there's your rotary sound. Uh, 
big speak about how all that works, but go look it up. Let's see if I can turn this up. Ah! Ah! All right, finally, um, I think we got all the other ones. Yeah. Um, tremolo. Now, again, not to be confused with vibrato. Uh, amps make that difficult for people to understand. But remember, tremolo is going to be a variation in amplitude or volume, not pitch. Right. So vibrato is pitch. If your if your Fender amp says vibrato, it's not. It's tremolo. And just like your guitars, tremolo is not a tremolo. It controls pitch. Correct. Therefore, making it a vibrato. They're interchangeable names, but trust me, mm-hmm. if you want to get your Shoot. point across, tell people the right thing. Yes. Tremolo is going to be... I'm going to let you mess with them. Because this is Rick's pedal. So let's switch over to Rick. Because he knows this thing better than I do. And he could probably do better with tremolo licks. Because I don't. So, But this is going to give you a fluctuation of volume. Uh, you, got, you, got, you got a tone. You got, you got volume coming through. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, we hooked it up right. Yeah! Tremolo is going to... <laughs> Uh, you know, a classic example of, of, of the tremolo to me, first thing I think of is the Smiths, Johnny Marr, uh, yeah. How Soon Is Now. Uh, great use of tremolo, uh, a more modern version, I guess, even though it's probably 20 years old now. A Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day has that tremolo that's very distinct on it. Uh, you know, what else could I think of uh, tremolo wise? I was thinking a lot of Tom surf Petty. rock, Tom Petty, yeah. uh, sixties rock, music, sure, though, yeah. uh, anything like that. Uh, tremolo all day. Mm-hmm. So yeah, here just. Uh... To all the way choppy, uh, oh, yeah. but you can hear it's it's affecting the volume, not the pitch, not right. the frequency, but just the volume. So volume, pitch, frequency. They all sweep it in a certain way, but that is the basic differences between those three, at least, um, besides all the other things. Yeah. You can write about it in the comments if you'd like. Tell us. Yeah. Go ahead. Help That's us cool. be more accurate. We want to be accurate. <laughs> we wouldn't want not to be accurate. Ah, corrupt. So, uh, well, you can get you can, nice, you can get nice choppy sounds. Oh, Tom Morello is the other guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tom Morello, I believe, has a lot of those sounds where whether or not he actually uses a trem pedal for that... Uh, that's the sound he's imitating uh, a lot of the times when it's get those choppy stuttering effects. I think the beginning of Cochise was him using a trem pedal maybe and flicking stuff. And, uh, he's a genius. Guy's an underrated guitar player, but tremolo can uh, do some cool stuff. So I'll quit talking. Let Rick play you something. Let's see. Try a slower setting if I can get it to go slow. That's this oh, thing, this yeah. thing also will ramp up. Ah, okay. So, yeah, it's kind of Well, then cool. you heard the difference because yeah, 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 it went from slow to fast. You can do it to where it'll ramp slower or ramp fast. It's about as slow as I think I can get it to go. some of these effects too is that especially with this one you can hear how when you do when you're playing your single notes and things you're not noticing the effect but when you let it ring out that's when you really hear it which is kind of cool because some people won't be able to figure out how you do it it's like no it was on the whole time mm-hmm. you just didn't hear it because I was busy playing and then when right you, some people leave it on all the time for certain songs it works so um I don't know if we do some choppier. Yeah, we got, a, we got a choppy choppy sound uh let's see if we do Delta this is what I call choppy chop uh, this is one of my favorite kind of sounds because it's that very stuttering Johnny Marr Green Day kind of. Uh, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm not. I think I've kind of got it set to where it doesn't go all the way out like uh, that. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Because what's cool is you can hold down, it's it's like Strymon before 
like you can hold down this and then adjust some of the hidden features Ooh. which can be the amount of like square to tri you know triangle mm -hmm. depending on what kind of and it has bats on it which is super cool it's cool it's a cool pedal anything with bats on it is always really cool <laughs> Very country western. <laughs> Maybe we can hit some delay, get some of those sounds happening. Let's see. That sounded cool. So, let me explain tremolo, chorus, vibrato, mm -hmm. rotary, flanger, univibe, and phaser. Mm -hmm. Now, we and you should be totally caught up on how to effectively get those sounds and which modulation effects to use. I recommend getting one of each. Well, yeah, especially now, I mean, you got the Model 11 from EHX that has them all in there. There's the great uh, the boss, the mod, uh, the MD200. The MD200 was really good. Uh, not to mention our uh, Nux. Nux makes some good what, stuff. What was that one that? Remember? No. <laughs> it, it was basically had all the mods. We were, we we're actually going to use that and just. Have uh, to ooh, yeah, I do. I just yeah. can't remember what it's called though. Yeah, God, that thing was great. Mm. Uh, yeah, which new X hit us up. Tell well, us. I'll, I'll put the pedal up here, just so you know. Get us more of those, cause you know I think you discontinued it, and I'm really upset. Oh, about it was, that. It was, that's right. It was a used one, though, yeah. Cause it was super cool, and it was totally cheap and awesome, and I think it had almost every one of these it effects. Did, it really did. So if you're trying to dip your toe into, uh, you know, hit us up for some new X stuff, maybe we get them to bring that back out of retirement if it hasn't been retired, cause that thing's super cool. Yeah, that did sound good. Cover all your bases with one excellent stereo pedal. Like I said, and so you don't have to have seven individual pedals you can get some really but good you should. i mean yeah it, it's fun it is <laughs> so, and then but you yes. can combine them in different ways and this will get you those different sounds uh to nail those tones or even come up with your own new tones yeah try so. try try them before try them after drives try them just play with them mm -hmm. yep so i think that'll be it for that and uh yeah all right, all right. All right. i'm rick i have terrible posture uh, see you later